Okay. So hello, uh good uh good morning or good day. Uh we will start discussing module 13 which is uh, Terzaghi's bearing capacity. Okay, so last meeting we discussed the different types uh or the last module we discussed the the different types of foundation solutions. So right now you uh, understand or you know what is uh, the shallow foundations and uh, deep foundations. Okay, so uh, the most important uh, parameters of foundation designs is to find the soil bearing capacity or the bearing capacity of your soil. Okay, so uh, maybe in uh, using the Terzaghi's equation, using the Vesic equation, Mayer Hoff modified Terzaghi. So, uh, depends upon the, the geotechnical engineer of, or, of on record, okay? So, ang nangyayari kasi, uh, geotechnical report. So, may geotechnical report tayo. So, uh, so nag-conduct sila ng, ng, uh, ng uh, boring boreholes, di ba? Nag-conduct sila ng boreholes. Then, in-study nila yung, uh, yung different parameters like sigma, yung shear strength of the soil, many more, Okay. So also, meron din silang binibigay na, na bearing capacity of your soil. Okay, so if you are the designer, if you're the designer of the building, so syempre sa atin nang galing yung, ano, yung, uh, yung total loads of the structure. Okay, so the geotechnical engineer is uh, uh, siya yung capable to provide yung soil bearing capacity of the soil. So the soil bearing capacity of the soil and meron kang soil bearing capacity then also meron kang the total loads of your building. Okay, yung, uh, yung loads of your building. Yung reactions dun sa, 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 sa support sa, sa may uh, foundation level. Okay, then magde-design ka. So you will design the, bearing the, the dimensions of your foundation based on the dependent on the, the bearing capacity. So, napakahalaga ng bearing capacity sa soil talaga. Okay, sa pagde-design ng foundation. Okay, so, uh, this uh, in this module, we will understand uh, uh, the theory or uh, siya yung, um, uh, sila yung pinag-basis uh, ng bearing capacity, uh, the understanding the bearing capacity of the soil. So, using the Terzaghi's equation. Okay? So, soil bearing capacity, the lowest part of the structure generally referred as the foundation. So, it is function, uh, its function is to transfer the load of the structure to the soil on which it is resting. So, properly designed foundation transfers the load throughout the soil without overstressing the soil. Okay? So, anong mangyayari if you overstress the soil? Overstressing the soil result in uh, either excessive settlement, a shear failure of the soil, pwede rin yung uh, uh, pag hindi nag, uh, mag shear failure sa soil, pwede rin mangyari na madamage yung foundation mo. So, merong one-way uh, shear or punching shear failure in your, in your foundation. Okay, so thus, the, 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 the geotechnical and the structural engineers who design the foundation must evaluate the bearing capacity of the soil. Okay, so yung bearing capacity of the soil comes from the, the bearing capacity of the soil comes from the geotechnical report. So uh, they are the one who will uh, go to the site, examine the soil, and find the bearing capacity of the soil. Then the foundation solution uh, designed by the jet, uh, the structural engineers are based on the report or the geotechnical report of the geotechnical uh, engineer uh, okay or uh, based din siya dun sa bearing capacity of the soil so tandem sila okay so in other words the soil bearing capacity is a very important parameters in foundation design okay so, ultimate soil bearing capacity for shallow foundation to understand the concept of the ultimate soil bearing capacity and the mode of shear failure in the soil. So, let us consider the case of a long rectangular footing of weight B located at the surface of a dense sand layer. Okay, so the dense sand layer or a stiff soil. 
So this one is uh, comes from the book of Braha Emdas. Okay. So at figure 16.2, so this one in figure 16.2, so the ultimate soil bearing capacity for shallow foundation, model footing, and the B is your uh, load settlement relationship. Okay. So this one is your model footing natin. So we ex uh, we try to uh, consider the case of long rectangular footing of width B and a uh, load Q. Okay, ito yung actual load Q. Okay, so uh, this one, yung uh, loading settlement relationship. Okay, so yung load per unit area, lalaki yung increase. So as you all know, syempre, uh, kapag mas malaki yung load per unit area mo, mas malaki yung actual stress mo. Ano sa na tingin yung mayayari? Kung mas malaki yung actual stress mo, mas malaki yung potential ng mag uh, settlement so mas malaki yung settlement mo because malaki yung load per unit area mo malaki yung stress actual stress mo okay so meron tayo kinu consider na general shear failure and local shear failure okay so let us understand what is general shear failure and local shear failure so general shear uh, shear failure happens for dense sand and stiff clay or basically the stiff soil Okay, yung stiff soil. So, when a uniformly distributed load Q per unit area is applied to the footing, so uh, it settles. So, if the uniformly distributed load Q is increased, okay, this one is increased, the settlement of the footing gradually increases. Okay, so when the value of your Q is equals to Q sub U or your actual load Q, which is QU, is equals to the capacity load uh, capacity q or capacity stress of your soil so the bearing capacity failure of course okay so the footing undergoes a very large settlement without any further increase of q okay the soil on one or both sides of the foundation bulges so as you can see in this figure yung nagbulge yung soil yung ano dito yung original uh, yung soil surface data and data nag bulge siya and will slip uh, surface extend to the ground surface so it will slip and will cause a bulging in the ground surface so the load settlement relationship is like curve one okay uh, shown in this figure 16.2 in okay, this one in figure 16.2 b Okay, so in this case, your QU is defined as the ultimate bearing capacity of the soil. So the bearing capacity failure just described as called as the general shear failure. So and can be explained with reference to 16.3a. This one is your fifth six figure 16.3a. When the foundation settlement uh, uh, settles under the application of the load, a triangular wedge shaped zone of the soil marked as one. Okay, ito yung triangular wedge. Okay, this one is pushed down and in uh, in turn it presses the zone mark two and three so it will stress out or push the uh, the the zone two and zone uh zone two and zone three okay, because of this triangular wedge one so ito yung assumption nila ng uh, flow no stresses okay so uh, the ultimate pressure QU, the soil passes into a state of plastic equilibrium and failure occurs by the sliding of this uh, soil at the top of this one. So this case is an example of general shear failure and it, it happens for a dense sand or very steep clay. Okay? So what will happen if you have a loose sand or soft clay or soft to medium uh, uh, dense sand? Okay, so if the footing test is conducted instead to a loose to medium dense sand, the load settlement relationship is like curve two. So just like this one, curve two. Okay, so, so beyond a certain value Q is equals to Q prime, the load settlement relationship become a steep. So inclined as a straight line. So in this case, it is defined as the ultimate bearing capacity of the soil. So this type of soil is referred to as the local shear failure, as you can see in this figure. 
yung tri triangular wedge shaped zone in mark 1 this one yung triangular wedge uh, uh, shape zone uh, below the footing moves downward Okay, mag-move siya downward, but unlike the general shear failure, the slip surface and somewhere inside the soil, okay, because meron tayong uh, loose or ano, uh, loose to medium dense sand. So hindi siya loose loosen up siya eh. So uh, hindi yan uh, uh, mag uh, magpo-push down dun sa uh, magpapasses dun sa curve 3 or yung zone 3 pala, yung zone 3. Because this one is loose yung, uh, yung, uh, yung soil. Loose yung soil mo. So, ang nangyari, nandito lang siya nag-push dun sa, sa zone 2. Okay? So, ito, uh, they call this one as local shear failure. It happens for a loose sand and soft clay. And the general shear failure happens for dense sand and stiff clay. Okay? So, the Terzaghi's ultimate bearing capacity equation uh, on in on 1943, so Terzaghi extended the plastic failure theory of uh, Prant, uh, Prantel to evaluate the bearing capacity of soil for shallow strip footings. So for practical consideration, a long wool footing with a length to width ratio more than uh, more than five may be called a strip footing. So according to Terzaghi, a foundation may be defined as a shallow foundation if your depth d sub f is less than or equal to its width b just like what we discussed on module 12 so for shallow foundation then he also he also assumed that for ultimate soil bearing capacity calculation the weight of soil above the base of the footing may be replaced by a uniform surcharge q equals gamma times tf okay so according to terzaghi uh, come up siya ng soil bearing capacity when uh, extended uh, the theory of plastic failure provided by Prantel. Okay? So, uh, he comes up, the Terzaghi comes up to, diff, uh, to this equation. So, it is the Terzaghi's ultimate bearing capacity equation. So, this one is a uh, equation for general shear failure and this one is an equation for local shear failure. So, as you can see, they are uh, the same. Okay, different parameters lang. So yung C, that is C prime and C and C prime, Q and Q prime, gamma, uh, ay yung N gamma naging N gamma prime. And okay, so meron lang siyang prime for local. Okay, so for square footing, your ultimate bearing capacity, Q alt, is equals to the uh, 1.3 C and C plus Q and Q plus 0 0.4 gamma B and gamma. For circular footing, your, your ultimate bearing capacity is equals to 1.3 C and C plus Q and Q plus 0.3 gamma B and gamma. Then for strip footing, your ultimate bearing capacity is C and C plus Q and Q plus 0.5 gamma B and gamma. Okay. Uh, the same for square uh, for local shear failure. It happens for a loose sand or soft clay. Okay, that's one. You have the same formula. Okay, so what are the parameters? Your NC, your NQ, and N gamma. This one. Your NC, N sub C. Your N sub C, your N sub Q, and your N gamma is the bearing factor. So later on, we will discuss what are those uh, bearing factors. So N, C, N, Q, N, gamma are the bearing factors. So C stands for the cohesion of your soil. Your Q, okay, C is uh, the cohesion of your soil. Is this one. Okay, your Q is the effective stress. Effective stress at the bottom of the foundation. Right, of, right at the bottom of the foundation. And your uh, uh, gamma is basically uh, the the buoyant unit weight of your of your uh, soil of the soil. Okay, so later on we will discuss uh, what is this gamma b. Okay, so we'll discuss this gamma and gamma b. 
Okay. So right now, uh, the gamma stands for the the uh, the unit weight of your uh, your soil. So what are the parameters? Other parameters you have your Q ult that is the ultimate bearing capacity, and your Q U is the unconfined compressive strength. Okay, so as you all know that uh, using the unconfined compressive uh, uh, test, okay, yung uh, 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 yung graph neto, if you recall the more circle, yung graph neto is uh, this one. Okay, so yung cohesion value is basically uh, your QU, yung ultimate load on the soil, ito yung soil natin. Nagkandak lang siya ng, ano, ng uh, parang compressive stress, dun, compressive strength dun sa the soil. Then your QU is basically the the radius of the graph. Okay, so that is why your cohesion is QU. Okay, then your Q is gamma times TF for no water table. So the other uh, the other definition of Q is the effective stress at the bottom of the foundation. Okay, and Q net or net uh uh, bearing capacity is equals to uh, Q alt minus Q over FS. Okay. Q net meaning you have the net uh, uh, net, uh, net, if, net stress or net actual stress in your, of, in your foundation. So that is meaning yung net, ibig sabihin siya yung difference between the uh, siya yung parang allowance mo eh. Siya yung pinaka-allowance mo. There, therefore, yung Q ult mo, this is your capacity. Okay? And Q over FS yung the, the demand. So, basically, yung Q net is equals to the difference of your capacity and uh, the demand. Okay? So, yan yung ano, capacity or the actual load, demand or the actual, uh, or the actual load or the actual stress. Okay? And your Q allow or the allowable bearing capacity is equal to your Q alt or the ultimate bearing capacity divided by the factor of safety that is also equals to the uh, P allow divided by the, the area of your foundation. Okay. Uh, why are we uh, using a factor of safety? Okay. So uh, we are not designing our, our structure ng sagad-sagad. No? Ibig sabihin, at its own maximum limit, dapat meron pa rin tayong allowance for errors in the construction. So that is why we are providing factor of safety in our design. Okay? So this is the factor of safety. Okay. So uh, the bearing capacity factors based on the original Terzaghi capacity equation, Terzaghi bearing capacity equation, is uh, written in this table. So uh, you have uh, the angle of uh, internal friction for your soil. That is phi prime. So uh, this table shows the bearing capacity factors based on the angle phi prime. So we have an angle 0 to 50 degrees and you have a... Uh, uh, specified bearing capacity factors. So, ang pagtingin dito, kapag meron kang 0 degrees, meron kang 5.7, 1, and 0. So, this is your NC, this is your NQ, and this is your N gamma. Okay? So, this table is uh, only for the original uh, bearing capacity factors. Or, uh, sorry, the original Terzaghi's equation. No modifications on the... Uh, the Terzaghi bearing capacity. Okay? So, kapag hindi, uh, hindi binigay yung NC, NQ, and gamma, so you will just check this table okay, for the bearing capacity factors. Okay? So, don't worry, don't worry in the problem. I will state uh, uh, the, the, the bearing factor NC, NQ, and gamma. Okay? However, if wala naman, so I will... Uh, uh, state so saan niya siya kukunin okay so even in the board exam in the board exam uh, uh, 
the the bearing factors is provided in the problem okay so this one is the bearing factors so the effect of water table is uh uh, uh affects the uh, the bearing capacity of our of our soil so under case one uh, your q will uh case one is when your uh, groundwater table is within your depth D sub F. So, nandun siya yung uh, groundwater table. And case 2 is when your ground table is located at the bottom of your foundation or double bottom of your footing, right at the bottom of your footing. And case 3 is when your... Uh, groundwater table is below your foundation. So case one, nasa above. Case two is within the, the foundation. And uh, case three is below the foundation. Okay, so if you recall the formulas, this one, meron kang Q and gamma. May Q and gamma ka. Yung Q is for case one is given by gamma df minus d plus gamma prime d. And your third term, which is which is gamma b and gamma, your gamma should be the buoyant unit weight, gamma prime. Okay? So that is this uh, answer. Or that is this uh, par uh, parameters na gagamitin mo dito. Then for case two, nandun siya right right uh, 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 within the bottom of your footing, your Q is equals to gamma times TF, this one. And your third term, your third term, which is gamma, then yung gamma mo, will be equal to the, uh, the gamma prime or the buoyant unit weight. Yung gamma prime is, uh, you all know which what is gamma prime. Gamma prime is equals to gamma sat minus for water or minus the unit weight of water okay and for case 3 it is when uh, your groundwater table is below okay is below the the bottom of your foundation your q is equals to gamma times tf and your third term is equals to q uh, delta as uh, is uh, uh, your third term uh, gamma is equals to gamma average Okay, so what is gamma average? Gamma average is uh, for D that is less than B, yung D nyo is ito, D is less than or equal to B, okay, your gamma average is uh, uh, yung uh, can be solved by this equation. Okay, so gamma average times with B is equal to gamma times D plus gamma prime B minus D. Then for D that is greater than B, yung, the, yung, yung distance D is greater than B, your gamma average is equals to gamma. Okay? So there is other way of taking into account a water table. Okay? So there is another way to taking uh, account of water table. So pwede hindi ka na tumingin dito sa case 1, sa case 2, and case 3. So paano yun? Yung Q is the effective stress at the bottom of the footing. So kung papansin ninyo, lahat ng case na to, ano yung effective stress at this point? What is the effective stress at this point? And what is the effective stress at this point? Tama ba yung sa under case 1? Yung effective stress at, uh, at that point is equals to okay, gamma. Okay? Effective stress na ito. So ito, gamma sat yan for sure, di ba? Yung this one, uh, this one, uh, gamma to. Ito, gamma sat to. Saturated to. Tama ba? Okay. So, syempre, gamma, ano yung distance na to? Distance na to is basically df minus d. Tama? df minus d. Then, plus, uh, gamma sat minus gamma water. Okay multiplied by the distance d. So as you can kung mapapansin niyo, parehas na parehas siya dito. Gamma times tf minus d, gamma prime times d. Okay? So that is your cube.
Okay? Next is yung gamma B. Okay. Gamma B is the effective stress at B distance from the bottom of the footing, not including the stress at the top. Okay, so check, na, check ulit natin yung case 1. So sabi dito, effective stress daw at a B distance. So balik, balik natin. Uh, effective stress at a B distance from the bottom of the footing. So ito yung bottom of the footing. So B distance daw, sukat ka ng B distance. Okay. So B distance... Okay. Then, therefore, uh, kapag hinanap natin yung effective stress at this point, that is equivalent to gamma B. Gamma B na siya, ha? Take note. Gamma B na siya. No need to multiply pa sa B. So, gamma B na siya. So, ang sabi pa dito, not including the stress at the top. So, ibig sabihin, hindi, mo na, hindi ka mag-start sa taas. Dito ka lang mag-start sa bottom of the footing. Dito ka lang mag start So, sa case natin na to, okay, sa case natin na tong case 1, okay, ano yung gamma B niya? Sa tingin nyo, gamma B dyan is, okay, so ano yung effective stress at this point? So, tama ba na that is, kung gamma sat ito, your gamma B is equals to gamma sat minus gamma water multiplied by B distance. So, hindi nakasama yung taas, ha? So, dito ka lang mag-start. Hanapin mo lang yung effective stress dito. Okay? So, kung mapapansin natin, okay, multiplied by B distance. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung third term daw dito is equals to ga, so gamma prime. So, gamma prime, which is equal, equivalent to this one, ito gamma prime to eh. Okay? So, uh, that is equivalent to this one. Gamma prime times B. Okay. Yeah, gamma B. Okay. Then, check na rin natin yung uh, the same for case 2. Uh, we don't have problem for case 2. So, the same lang din yan. So, tingnan natin yung Q is the effective stress at this point. Okay. Which is equal to gamma times TF. And your third term is find the B distance. Find the B distance. And this is already gamma B. Your uh, gamma prime. <coughs> Uh, this one. Okay, the effective stress at that point. Okay, so let us go to case three. For case three, no need to, uh, to no need to check for this one. So ito lang yung medyo ma, mahirap ng pag eh, sa uh, the effect of water table. For case three, okay, check natin ulit yung Q. Yung Q natin is basically the effective stress at this point that is gamma times Tf, right? This is your distance TF. Then for the uh, delta average, your ga uh, sorry your delta uh, gamma is equals to gamma average. Your gamma in the third term is using uh, this gamma average. So no need to no need to uh, to to memorize this one. What you have to do is find the B distance. Okay, find the B distance. And uh, this is already gamma B. So if you find the effective stress at that B distance, that is already your gamma B. So uh, take note that uh, you will start your effective stress at the bottom of your footing. Dito ka na mag-start. Okay, dito ka na mag-start ng, uh, ng uh, pag-solve for the... Uh, bottom of your uh, footing. Okay, dito ka naman start. Okay, so yan lang yung uh, gamma B. Already gamma B na yan in the, in the formula. This one. Okay, so uh, please you, uh, see the example problems for Terzaghi's pairing capacity. So please start at uh, 3 minutes and 36 seconds. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So this is an example uh, problem or uh, have a different uh, situational problems in uh, Terzaghi's bearing capacity of shallow foundations. Okay.
So, I have four situation problems. So, please start na kayo dito sa time timestamp 3.36. Okay, so any questions? Okay, so if you have questions, uh, please uh, uh, message me na lang on Blackboard. Okay, so uh, thank you. So, again, please subscribe to my uh, uh Uh, YouTube channel account, okay? So, nandito nakapaloob yung example problem of uh, Terzaghi sparing capacity. So, check nyo na lang tong link na to. Copy nyo yung link na to and uh, go to uh, uh, this uh, video. Okay? So,